Welcome to the Metropolitan Richmond Artists Association 65th Competition Art Show. I'm Susan Fisher and I'm very happy to serve as its president. MRAA has been having shows and planning exhibitions for 65 years now. So we're a group of professional artists. Our roots are VCU that 65 years ago started an organization to bring art out and to support artists. I want to introduce Paul De Pasquale, a, a, a feature of the art scene in Richmond for a long time and well respected everywhere. Um, Paul got his, uh, he was trained at the Boston Architectural Center, so we're all linked to this city in a big way. Thank you, Paul. I'm going to turn it over to you. Hi, uh, thanks for the introduction, Susan, and uh, thank you for choosing me as a judge, although I have to say, judging any art show is a difficult job uh, because I'm an artist I think it's difficult and each work um, is meaningful for me I think about the courage it takes to face a, in the case of painting a blank canvas and um, and the choice of subject and the story you want to tell and uh, or the mark you want to make and uh, what needs to be communicated uh, it's really about um, maintenance and growth, and the maintenance is arranging your life so you have the solitude and the place and the materials to then grow into the work of art that you're going to produce and the story you want to tell and what you want to communicate. And um, it begs the question, uh, why make art? And um, I think it's because um, we are human beings and we are creative spirits. And then tapping into that is, um, is a spiritual event and um, on some level. Um, if the goal is to simply sell the art, then it moves the art more into uh, the realm of design or um, functionality. And um, of course, it, that is also uh, embraced by the art world but it's different than fine art. So that's what we looked at um, uh, in this show. And, um, and of course, uh, being in the heart of Crossroads Art Center is, uh, is a spectacular place for a show, but it's also embraced by other beautiful works of art. So whether you know anybody in this show or not, uh, I'm gonna put in a plug for Crossroads Art Center, come down and, and look at and look at the art and you'll have to come back because there's so much good art to look at. Um, which pieces I remembered the best. And uh, I managed to get through all of them <laughs> because I, I could remember them all. Um, I didn't have the titles exactly right, but um, uh, so that was an interesting exercise as well in trying to judge. In other words, which piece uh, stuck in my memory um it's not necessarily um, um a piece that i like but it does suggest a piece that's strong so the the difficult thing about a show any show is that the pieces uh, are the tip of the iceberg really and um but in this in this case i didn't look at the names i just looked at the work until yesterday and then some of the pieces, I made a point of um, when two, two works were submitted by one person, I made a point of choosing one of those. And um, sometimes both of those were excellent or rose to the top, but I didn't want to choose two pieces for one person with only um, six places uh, to honor in the whole show. In fact, in this show, it would be easy to choose 12. So for first place in the show, I chose uh, Juggler and the Drone um, by Aaron Bowles. And um, I picked this piece because it, uh, it stuck with me every time I looked at the work. And uh, it felt like a transformation of a concept and at the same time uh, has um, enough facility to be specific and uh, in terms of technique 
and um, and yet a dreamlike quality, which is probably what um, has attracted me to it. So it has a it has a um, a good sense of abstraction um, in the in the back field, but um, but it's telling a story, and in that sense, um, um, it. In this case, it drew me in and uh, spoke to me. So, for second place in the show, I chose Ecstasy in the Garden by Paolo Candido. Um, clearly a portrait, and uh, in that sense, a portrait that is telling a story. Um, the story is uh, multifaceted for me, and it drew me in uh, because there were a number of elements that um, that seemed um, somewhat the size of the painting, uh, the execution of the painting is very good. The size is large, as you can see, and um, and so um, one of the jobs of art is. Um, is portraiture. It can be a portrait of a house or a portrait of a boat. A portrait of a person is most likely. Um, and um, so I tried in the realm of portraits for this show, um, I picked this one as a standout. And uh, for third place in the show, I chose uh, Resilience, this piece, by Mona Dworkin. I think that collage is a difficult art form because it, um, well, for me, it looks a lot like very thin sculpture um, assembled from pieces that you've collected trying to uh, form a concept. So um, this one uh, is a standout for me in the show. It's not a portrait. It's more of a, it's almost a, feels like a political piece, but at the same time, a um, uh, strong element of design and, um, and an interpretation that, um, once again, stuck in my mind. And um, as I reviewed the show and reviewed the show, uh, this one kept popping out as, um, in, as intriguing. Um, I like the addition of the uh, three-dimensional pieces uh, it's not just photography, and then this um, the overlay is uh, with the hands, um, and uh, in general um, occupies the space well, even though it has a lot of uh, negative space around it. Uh, I chose Xanadu, uh, Mary Montagu Sykes, um, as an honorable mention. Uh, uh, shifted back and forth with at, at least three others that I would have liked to have given honorable mentions to. This one um, was attractive to me. Initially looking at a picture of it, um, I was not as interested, but the scale of this piece is impressive. And um, the watercolor uh, medium is also impressive to me. It's really more of an abstract expression, uh, although there's a kind of a feather, um, maybe um, microscopic organism in the middle of it that, that reads um, a, a, an organic story of some sort. But I think the entire title is uh, Desert in Xanadu. Um, so reading the title gave me a sense of this landscape and um, I always am encouraging people to title their work. I feel it's uh, an extra step that's the responsibility of the artist, unless there's a reason to not title it that, um, that benefits the work. So um, all those things totaled up. Um, I felt this was an honorable mention. Another honorable mention yeah. is Sailing by Mimi Murdoch. And um, to be honest, I dismissed this piece initially and um, didn't think it would place and then kept coming back to it. Um, it wouldn't leave me alone. And so um, I had to pay closer attention. And what I, 
However, when I say I dismissed it, what I really liked about it is uh, the joy in this piece. This looks like it was really fun to do. And, um, and it's good to have fun when you're painting your art or, or doing any art, and if, if possible. Um, it's very, it, it looks like a private scene. And um, what, I, what I like about it is the freedom and the application of color that is um, almost like almost like a collage in terms of covering this space in yellow. Yellow from where? I mean, is it a reflection? Is it? Kind of, it's more of an emotion. I decided, and um, and the looseness of it uh, initially was. Um, put offing for me just in terms of liking the piece but uh, I decided it's not about liking it it's about the strength of the piece so um, uh, and some decisions like uh, this frame of the clouds and almost like a backdrop um, were intriguing uh, brought me in so um, so uh, sailing as uh, I will mention and um, for this honorable mention, I chose Mountain Stream by Susan Fisher. Mountain Stream uh, was a standout for me. Um, it has um, a, a sense of abstraction. Uh, I like to think about the person's vision who's making the artwork. Uh, their personal vision is sometimes just a demonstration, sometimes an observation, uh, like a poem or a story. And, um, and I imagine them getting into what I call the art head, where nothing else uh, is in the room except um, this painting that is unfolding. Um, oftentimes in painting, uh, you're working from a photograph um, or perhaps plein air, but that art head state of uh, mind uh, between the, the brain and the connection of the hand very often creates emotion that, um, that's readable. And so that's, I was pulled into this painting in that way. Um, it's, it goes back and forth into, into being realistic and dreamlike at the same time. Um, so, honorable mention.